I mean, you're married to him, so does it really matter? Yeah, it matters because I care about the truth. It's a big deal to me if I've been lied to. You want good. that from dentures? I'm an entrepreneur. You You're still working at a nine to five. Well, but guess what? I got more money than you, Carly. I don't believe this. Oh, I got receipts. Well, it's tax season, so we won't see him. My way to the top, and it ain't no stopping. I know that ain't who I think it is. Here? Don't play with me. I'm gonna find you after, okay? At a party, I ain't know. Why are you here? Um, I kind of felt the need to talk to Rashida. Real quick, if we could chop it up. First, I'm confused on why Jasmine's here. Then I'm confused on her walking in with Tierra. Like, what the f is that about? But like, what's the point? What do you want? Why are you here? You haven't took it upon yourself to do what you were supposed to do as a father to our son. You know what? You can go sit down. You can go sit down. Rashida, you are such a lady. Cause I'm gonna kill that bitch. I really don't have to say to this chick, but since she just keeps popping up, I guess I might as well deal with this once and for all. But she better remember, we in a room full of my peoples that will ride for me if necessary. I don't even need no help, though. I got this. What is it? What do you want to talk about? I just wanted the chance to finally get to apologize to you formally. I've tried to write you. I've tried to, you know, reach out to you. And I know I'm the last person that you want to talk to on the earth right now, honestly. obviously. I didn't want it to go down like this. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't thinking about what I was destroying. I'm not that type of person. Really? <laughs> I really, I'm really not. some real You did that shit. Like, that is the type of person you are. And I'm gonna keep that 100 with you. That was some real bull You know how you with my family. And at the end of the day, there's really nothing you can say to me to make anything any different. One thing about me, though, is I'm a real ass woman. And your child? has nothing to do with the situation at hand, but the way you maneuvered was on some that I can't with. And that's why I won't talk to you. That's why I hadn't talked to you. I'll be the first to say, like, I wish I would've never did that. That's not who I am. I up. Well, you don't have to try to tell me what you aren't, because all I see is what you've shown me. I get it. That's real. I get it. So you came to apologize? Is that what you had to say? Shut up so I can hear. I guess actions speak louder than words. All I can do is act on my words. I mean, and that's doing what, though? Like, I'm I'm confused. I mean, this is a far-ass place. We're not in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. So actions speak louder than words than what? Because when I talk to my mom and I talk to my stepdaughter because you're coming in my place of business, on some real well, like, don't the, nobody, the, what? The reason why I did that in the first place is because I wanted to be able to speak to you. So then I'm, I'm confused on what it is you're, you're, you're wanting. You want to apologize, and then what? Because anything else after after that has nothing to do with me. You need to be having whatever conversation you need to have with that man. Because at the end of the day, on some real you a fed up individual for doing what you did. I'm not even talking about this whole around shit, but what I can't get past is all the other shit. You know, all these games with these blogs and this bull that you was doing. You posted my child on Instagram. Like that type of right there, that a no go. Mm -hmm. Your malicious ass ways, like I can't respect that on any kind of level. And I'm trying to have my moment. Today is an amazing day for me. I've been through a lot, of and I want to continue to enjoy my night. See you later. Yes, boss lady. really had no intentions on meeting with Mariah, but she started blowing up my phone, and then I started thinking about what Carly said. I really need to get with this chick to hear from her how the hell any of this really happened. I gave myself a couple of days to calm down and just like to actually face you. This is not a boyfriend-girlfriend thing. I'm married. Do you understand what marriage means? Like we I took understand what marriage means, but he doesn't understand what you marriage means. You obviously don't know what marriage means. Because mm -hmm. if you knew what it meant, you wouldn't have did the that you did. I'm not saying what I did was right. 
But it's not completely all my fault. Shooter clearly isn't telling Sierra the whole truth, and it's only right that I tell Sierra my side of the story. He came on to me. Tell me. You remember your book signing night? You told me to take your husband home because he had way too many drinks. On the way there, he kept groping me, but I'm lit too, so one thing led to another by the time we were at your house, and that's what happened. Are you lying like hell? We got a body of a 13-year-old little boy. Ain't no way in 13 year hell. 13-year-old little boy. 13-year-old little boy. Girl, I'm little a boy. Ass Girl, you, woman. you can say whatever you say right. because at this point, I take you as a joke. I really came here trying to be nice to you, but I don't even care about sparing you right now because your the one who came and touched me. Yeah, you don't want to pay me. Your don't pay. Me. You can't keep hiding from the truth. And I stacked up all the money, and I don't need a glam shop because guess what? None of y'all ain't gonna do. Shit. To me. Okay, bitch. A woman is right. Time to speak out. I'm tired of being the other woman while Mimi and Steve is just living this regular life like nothing happened. If Mimi wants to get involved in his business, I'll get her involved. I'm gonna get straight to the point. You know, you and I know that when I first met him back in December, he didn't come home for three months. So I'm gonna just tell you like this. I know who baby I have in my stomach, and you know too. I'm disgusted. She's talking all this to me. I'm like, okay, Jocelyn, if you think I'm gonna lose my cool because you tell me you're pregnant by Stevie, it's not gonna happen. Baby, you're not worth it. Jocelyn, I know what I'm dealing with when it comes to Stevie. I'm not a fool. I know exactly what I got. As far as you are concerned, you're a stripper who's trying to get on. I was a stripper, on. and I'm not trying to get on. I was a stripper. I haven't been to the around. I haven't been to the every months. which way from Sunday. Now you're pregnant by him? Yes. Do you even know who you're pregnant by? I'm pregnant by your man. I get it. You want to be a star. I get it. You get pregnant and this, that. And, uh, bitch, please. This pulled you out of the strip club in VIP. At least I know what I'm dealing with, and I'm getting myself. I know exactly. Four what months. Dealing with two Four months. Heart. This is him Trust right here. Me. This is him right here texting me. See? Why is he texting me while we talking? As we're having our conversation, she says that he's sending her text messages. So I said, "Well, tell him to come up here." I don't understand why I was at this meeting by myself anyway. Oh, there he go. What's you letting her know? What's going on? She tells me she's pregnant by you. That's what she said. Do I be every day? I don't know. Do I be every day? Your baby. It is his baby. What are you doing with that? I don't know any man in a right in mind who's going to carry around the next bitch pregnancy test in their pocket. Who does that? So when's the last time y'all? About five days ago. A month ago. ago. About five, five days, ago. days ago. Five days ago. About a month ago. I'm not you with him so about when a month ago, it very well could be her baby if she's pregnant. I'm not ago. arguing with you about how many, the last time I That maybe. is not even the case. So now it's maybe. I mean, that it's been a month, so, you know. It's been a month, so maybe. The part that just really disgusts me is you're sloppy You this bitch and she could potentially be pregnant by you, and then you want to come home and lay down with me? Really? That's what we that's, that's cute. That's what we are. I, I'm obviously, she's pregnant. You think it's cute? Is she pregnant? You got the test in your hand. You got the test in your hand. You carrying a hey, don't, don't say stupid, stupid. Yo, chill. No, you keep it. Yo, you chill. chill. No, you chill. Get your hand out of my face. Get your hand out of my face for y'all. Get your hand out of my face. Where you going, Mimi? Come here, man. Good luck. Talk to your bitch and have a good night. See, the turn up queen has arrived. Yes, I know. Stevie's hosting a pool party today, and Dom said everybody's invited. After my meeting with Life yesterday, I'm not even in a party mood, and I keep playing that crazy ass stunt in my head. But I need my friends right now, so I came to see Dom, because this story, what I'm about to tell her, is about to blow her mind. I gotta tell you something. You know that you told me about Life? It's not true. Do you know for a fact he's not married? Is this something he okay. just told you? men lie. But what he did do is, he bust me out with a ring, honey. Girl, there was a time when I really thought that me and life would be perfect for each other. The truth is, life played me and used me. 
and then he has the audacity to blame me for us not working out. He said it was a promise ring. What's the promise? Girl, the promise. He promised me I would never find a man like him. So after he gave me the ring, he left, and we are not together right now. Y'all broke up? We broke up. And he let you keep the ring? He let me keep the ring. I was like, bye, bitch. Bad. I can buy another heart. <laughs> If the ring real. Girl, we gonna find out. Yeah, we need to find out. We gonna talk about that later. But I need to keep it real with you. I was there when Tommy and Tierra got into it, when Tommy admitted she was smashing scrap. So I hope that Tierra can be more mature when I let her know what's really going on between me and scrap. I have something to tell you. I told life, the person I was like talking to or whatever was scrap. I'm sitting here having a nice, relaxing time at the pool, and Carly Red had the nerve to sit here and tell me that she's sleeping with my baby daddy? And I can tell by the look on Don's face that she knew the entire time. You knew about this, Don? I don't know why Carly would choose this moment to confess her sins, but I didn't have anything to do with this, and it's not my business to tell. You had sent me this text, right? I am not taking my son to see him. I am dating someone new. So that was the green light for you to hop on his Okay, yes, yeah, so what? I'm seeing Jay Nick. But what that got to do with having enough respect for your friend to not to smash my leftovers? Oh, but wait, we're talking about Carly Red, the bitch that will f anything that moves. My baby daddy makes me sick too. Carly can have him. Carly and Tommy can fight over him. Before he went to jail, Carly, this you're is like, what we in a you, me, let me tell you something. I was just trying to keep it 100 as a friend. I was hoping you wouldn't make a scene, but that's expecting too much from a hood rat. So come on, girl, let's go. I'm chilling upstairs like a queen looking down at the raggedy bitches. And I'm like, bitch, is that Miss Dime Penny? God damn it. And I looked at my husband and I'm like, this is the type of ratchet bitches you invite to your pool party. You a d type of a sport. No, you please. Nasty. It don't matter, bitch. Grab it, bitch. Come on, get it. They can't go whip your motherfucking ass. You know, I'm bringing Tokyo and Spice here to see if we can be civil. Before the grand opening, we really need to break the ice with them too. Right. Because it would be so wrong, we coming all the way from Atlanta, and then some stuff pop off. Not trying to have nothing pop off in Rashida's store at her yeah. grand opening at all. Both of them are both headstrong. Hey, ladies. Hey, Spice. You spicy. always coming through <laughs> looking fabulous. I love Spice but she can definitely be a hothead. Why are we on this big ass stable anyway? Tokyo's coming. Why would Tokyo need to come? Like, she was in a relationship with this guy. Like, why would I want to be her friend? Now that you guys are dating, and we all have to be in the same space together, we don't want it to I go left. That's why we like... want everything to just Hey, be. ladies, how y'all doing? Hi, Tokyo. Tokyo, this is Spice. Spice, this is Tokyo. Hey, our I'm... friend, our friend. Okay. We're all friends here. I guess. Okay. How convenient it is that Sierra and Mimi invited me here for brunch, but forgot to tell me that Spice was gonna be here. I thought we was having hash browns this morning, bitch. I ain't know we was here to hash it out with the girl that's fooling with somebody that I was fooling with. Well, I wanted to introduce you guys and make sure that everybody can be on the same page because we all have to be around each other for the next few days here in Texas. I have no idea why Mimi and Sierra want me to be cool with this girl. Carly told me, oh, Tokyo said, oh, spice, whatever, whatever. What we here for? We're gonna eat us a good little brunch and then we're gonna enjoy the rest of the week. I don't think she wants nothing else to eat, trust me. <laughs> I'm not really trying to body shame anybody, but she been talking a lot of things behind me before she even meet me. So, I'm not going to make her nose, because she big and me small, me little but me talawa. I mean, hey, you pushing it too. I mean, you're not that far from me, so. Mm -hmm. I'm just... But why the, why the da -da -da. sarcasm? I mean, I don't really have no sarcasm, you know. Mm. All in all, I'm grown. My problem not with her. My problem with Tobias. I don't even know what I'm even here for. Right, like. but, right. But you were... Excuse me. 
I was what? No, she got she me for making so she, Yeah, she the way when you say she say things we really don't be understanding. Why you look at me? If she have a problem with Tobias, that has nothing to do with me. Whatever problem she had with Tobias, that with she and Tobias. Like, I why you looking at me? No, no, I just said I don't have me. no problem with you, though. Can't have no problem with me, girl. Trust me. All right, what we doing all that for? I don't know you, so. And I worse don't know you, and I didn't want to know you. All right, well, I'm here now. If you two didn't do this, I would see her and not see her. Like, we didn't even have but to have But we are going to be in the same space together a lot. All right, so you want me to try and have a conversation? Because they don't have to think, have a I conversation. Mean, you just ask them to make sure there's um, no tension. Tobias said that they're not together anymore. And yeah. as long as they're not together anymore, I'm not I mean, in a relationship. I mean, you just posted me on Insta Snap last night, so. Oh, so you are together. Spit it out. Are you together with him, yes or no? Let's get it over I'm, with. Who like, are you talking to? I'm not your child. Oh, God. I'm finna go. I'm out of here. This rude Tokyo Japan chick had the nerve to throw a bag at me. We didn't have a problem before. I was watching her to the side of my eyes. But now we have a problem today, tomorrow, and the day after that. Mary. Mary. Nice to meet you. Hi, Mark. Nice to meet you. Can't say it's so nice, but we meet. Yeah, it's mutual. I came here to see Jessica Dime walk in Prima Donna's show. I had no idea that Nico would be here with his wife. After two years of keeping her a secret, now he wants to bring her to an event as his date? Ridiculous. You're claiming her now. No, no, Because for two me. years he wasn't claiming you. We're not doing that's this. Not, you know. not, don't not, tell me what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do. tell you what you're gonna do. You're gonna get your finger no, out of my no, face. No, because that's not real. Get your hand out of my face. So here's the meme I've been hearing so much about. Already angry and so ready to fight. I guess she forgot that she's the one who cheated with my husband, <laughs> but it's all good. You're so emotional. I'm emotional, sweetie. Because yeah, because you did a you. sex tape with a man no, that's that you right found out that was off married. You I should do that because that was your husband. Your friends don't know the truth about you. But you, you do. That you, you, you plan this. You two plan this together. But you know me. And you're listening to this put the battery in your back. No, he didn't put a battery in my back. Get your hand out of my face. Make me. The minute I saw Nico walk in with Margo, I knew that I should have grabbed Mimi and probably exited stage left because I knew that these two women could not coexist in the same building. Did she tell you that I mean, both of them leaked this tape together? No, no, I'm not no, here defending no. him. Where's she wants to run away because you're a coward. Be a woman. Own up to I, it. I'm Let's a go. Full woman. No, I'm Margo, full stop woman. putting your hand in her face. This is all a big mess. Mimi was with a man that she didn't know was married for two years. And Margot found out her husband did a sex tape with another woman. Both of them should really be slapping the out of Nico instead of fighting each other. You with deserve your husband a for hand two years. in your He lied to me and he lied to you. He lied to me. Things is a little uncomfortable right now. I got these two women arguing about me like I'm not even standing here. But I know better to not get in between their situation. So it's best to let them get it off their chest. Nico does dumb but I know that he's not a slick ass to leak a sex tape he is. without you knowing he behind is. your back. You did it together. That's what he told you? Yeah, you did I it together. I think what you're mad about is you're not reaping you the benefits of off the sex tape. I think you think a lot of things. Your husband lie is lying to you. You're this is not being resolved. You dragged his name and made it I look did. like he leaked a tape behind I did your that. back like you didn't know. I did that. You want to do I something, do it in order. order. But don't do it Margo. and then put the blame on somebody else the because you're too much of a coward. You're a coward. Goodbye, bitch. You're stupid with a dumb ass putting a battery in your back. You got the nerve to call me a coward? It's okay, baby. I screwed your husband for two years, took the sex tape money straight to the bank while you were chained somewhere in Nico's basement. Now you want to pin some shit on me because you're too afraid to believe that your husband is a complete scumbag lowlife that everybody knows he is? Who's the coward now, boo-boo? Hi, Kendra. Hey, it's How are you? Ain't nobody getting ready to play me. Like, I'm going to ask my questions and get the air cleared because I do want to know if I don't already know who I'm married to. Um, Kendra, 
pretty sure this is me, though. Me, though. Nice to meet you. So Spice invited me here. I'm sure she told you mm -hmm. um, that we were going to come by. Mm -hmm. And I thought it would be best to just, like, clear the air because it's okay. like, come on. Jocelyn. I'm right here. Yeah, come on. You told me that you, you was in a relationship with him in, in 2019, 2016. And, you know, I've been with him during these times, so the truth going to come out. I mean, you're married to him, so does it really matter? Yeah, it matters because I care about the truth. It's a big deal to me if I've been lied to even after my wedding, but, you know? But, but bigger than that, I mean, with the words that she just said, I'm going to just use it back on her. Like, now that we married, what would be the reason for you to come out and say anything? Like Because you had, like, a party, a Grammy party before our wedding, and that's where people came back to tell me that you stood up in the middle of the dinner and was like, yeah, I've been dating Jocelyn and all of these okay. things. Everybody's around here talking, making it seem like I'm some sort of liar, like I'm making up stuff. One thing, I'm sorry about this. I'm sorry because I kept my mouth shut, and I've been sitting here, and I've been trying to protect you, but everybody going around making me feel like I'm some sort of liar or whatever, I'm not a liar. Okay, so, I'm so just what's gonna, the truth? I, the truth is, I messed with Jock since 2008 till about 2019. Yeah. Hearing me to say that she's messed with Jocelyn from 2008 to 2019, you know, we've had moments where we've been apart, but the dates that she alleged, he don't fall on that timeline. 2019? Where did we get up at? Um, first of all, we met at your club. Which club? Venue. Okay. So say. I'm just saying. You came through the spot? That don't mean we... So say. So what happened? So y'all had sex. Huh. You don't have to be with somebody to have sex. Did I do something to hurt you? You didn't do nothing to hurt me. So I'm why are you doing this? Well, I'm what not you, what trying do you think to you're hurt doing? you. Everybody is going around making it seem like my story is all messed up, Josh. Because your story got four and five different things. Because times. my story yeah. got yeah. taken. Yeah. Because everybody's adding their two cents in. Hey. And I honestly didn't want to come in between y'all. Because what am I doing talking about something? I don't, 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 don't want to be with him. You brought this stuff up. So it's, I didn't bring anything up. Let's compare dates that you was dating Josh. 2017, 2019. What? It was brought up. You made allegations, so I didn't make no allegations. Yes, you did. You just no, told I told me that he was dealing with him in 2019. Okay, that's not an allegation. It is the fact. I'm leaving. Okay, no. It, I'm leaving. Whatever. So that, this is why we're here. So what was going on in 2019? You said it wasn't sexual. What the fuck was it? It's even y'all around and y'all didn't around. Period. What's that? What's that? Yeah, what's that? What is this? Yeah, this is the JR. Who pulls out a stash of papers? Like, what the f is this? Did somebody fax these to your city? Let's see. Show it to the lawyer. Thank you. Let me see. September 13th, 2019. You could just come down here. Where you at? Come make love to me. Really? And then let's just go to the next day. Uh, it's, the same, it's the same day. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to be a liar. That's my number. I said we're not going to be a liar. And just right here. Meet up. here to celebrate Mimi's man's birthday party. But we find out that Mimi's man is a woman. Hi, Mimi. But I think this party is just about to get started. Tommy wants to get to know her man's baby mama. So I invited her, and she actually showed up. Oh, what's going on, girl? girl? My man Scrap promised me that he was going to tell Tiara about me in a relationship that he kept secret from her for a year. But I'm looking at this girl, and she looks a little too happy to see me. If Scrap did what he was supposed to do and tell her about me, she wouldn't be walking in with this big-ass grin on her face. Some tell me I'm going to have to knock that smile off her face before the end of the night, and I just hope she's ready. What are you trying to This is Tommy. Chardonnay, the same thing you served ah, me. Well, come on, give me some of Tommy. I served her a lot ah. of it. My social life has been non-existent since I started working my second job at the club. So when Carly followed up with the invitation, I figured, why not go? A waitress is just what I do two days a week. I work for the largest financial firm in the country. Oh! So I'm a shark. When are you a mom? Did this chick just ask me when I'm a mom? I'm a mom all day, every day. Not that it's any of your business. You do this all the time? Like you meet girls and you come and hang out with them? I do it when I feel like it. You do it every you feel. I do everything when, when I do feel, you feel like, like being a mom. 
this shit. Zeppa here fronting like she's the boss. Meanwhile, she's slinging drinks in some club while me and Scrap keep her kid. It's time for this chick to face some truth. Why y'all beefing? Ain't no beef. Tommy is calling out Tierra faster than Tierra can even respond. You asking about kids like you know my kid. I do know your kid. How do you know my kid? I know your kid because I know your baby daddy. I know your baby daddy because I sit on his like almost every other night. And then she went in for the kill. I'm that bitch. No, I know my baby daddy. He would never. So what you talking? Ever you sound crazy, talking. bitch. Calm down. Calm down, calm down. Calm down honey. Calm down. Let me tell you something Don't about Tommy. What, what about Let me Tommy? tell you something what about, about Tommy? Tommy. What's good? Let me tell you something. Chris and I are having a great time at this party. All of a sudden, I see these two women rolling around on the floor, beating each other up, and guess what? Diamond Carly right up in the middle of the bull You was together with me when the bitch was messy, first of all. She should at least wore some panties. I saw vagina hairs flying and pubic hairs flying. Toppy, did your mama teach you to wear panties? This was a really big night for Chris and I, and it was completely ruined by two Hood rats that I didn't even invite to the party. Hey, boo. Hi, Hey, boo. Hey, y'all. Hey. I love you. Hey, boo. Hello. I'm Sierra. Amber, Sierra, Sierra, Amber. I've seen her face before. I don't know why Carly invited me out tonight, but. I do know this chick, Amber. That's BK old friend, and he has told me some pretty wild stories about her. What is all this? It's fancy. I bought us around today for a friend intervention. There's some things that one of our friends, boyfriends, have not been honest about. He's been doing a lot of dirt, a lot of secret, and a lot of lies. There's one person in here that's new to the table. No, but it looked like I've seen her before. BK was just showing me her picture the other night. Uh, what he said. What he, night? Like two days ago? Like a couple days ago, yeah. He was like, babe, one of my old friends is calling me. He was telling me. Oh, he called you back? Yeah. What do you mean she called me, called her back? That's her man. This, yeah. Her man. Let me tell you, though. Let me finish. You're not his best friend? We're, we're together. But he was telling me that you was, like, calling him. He was like, one of my old friends calling me. She's saying she need advice and stuff like that. I was like, okay, cool. So you came to his house, but instead you was, like, trying to come on him. You was trying to get on the couch. He said you was being pushy, so he had to put you out. <laughs> and I was like, a friend? <laughs> First of all, I've known him for about 10 years. We have sex every time we see each other. Season, so we won't see him. I don't got a lot to you. Brasco. So you said you had sex with him on Friday. You had sex with him on Friday? That's what she told me. I am getting really tired of all of these randoms coming up to me with information about my man. So I'm not so sure if I should believe this chick who got all of this lipstick all over her teeth. This is Monday at 10.23 p.m. He said, I'm in the crib. I said, get up, let's go out, have a drink. He said, it's fake going on outside. That's why I stay in my crib. Pull up on me. Mm-hmm. I need advice? I mean, I know people make up fake takes, too. Fake text? Mm-hmm. Okay, so did you have sex? Yes, we had sex. BK is a dog ass whore. <laughs> but this whole setup a little messy for my taste. And I'm side eyeing Carly for bringing Sierra face to face with her dude side chick. All right, so let's let's get to something better. You f him, and this is all in. So now what? He says that that's not his girlfriend. Well, I just told you that is his girlfriend. So now what? Hey, Joy. Now, but then Joy walks in. I do her eyebrows and we cool, but I just don't get how she fits into this friend convention. Y'all, this is Joy. I actually do her eyebrows and she's actually BK artist. They work together doing music and stuff like that. Hold on. He told me he messes with you too. Excuse me, who? Frasco. What? I thought you said she was his artist. Yeah, it is his artist. He just told me about her on the phone. Yeah, that's his artist. Who are you? Working together. I'm Amber. Nice to meet you. I don't handshake. Okay. But he told me that he messes with her. No, they don't mess around, sweetie. I'm sorry. This, this is the conversation you and I need to have. I respect you. I like you. You and I are cool. We have no drama, no beef. Oh, so y'all like it's 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 complicated.
Is it complicated or y'all Which one? I need you to sum it up real quick. So, Joy, you see him post me all the time. You want to feel the way, like, oh, he always with Sierra. We've had these conversations. He says that you're his best friend. We do business together. I'm dead. So this is just a conversation that me and him have had. Oh, so dead. Y'all best friends. Y'all do business. We're in the process of making it official. We do, we're dating, but we're serious. I know his mama. I know his kids. We travel together. We do everything together. You want to hear that you're his best friend? Because I, I have that, too. OK. You take the conversation. Because I knew this was going to happen. I'm not sc- Carly. Oh. Come that's my real best friend. I mean, he said like they was friends, though. Like with Joy. Who's Joy? Oh, so you brought another girl, too. So now you see where I get the best no, friend from. You told me when you I still don't from. see where she, who I she is. You've been f***ing up 10 years. You are lying right yeah. now. Yeah. Right now, Joy f***ing up. Like, it's too much going on. You set it up, though. But you no, my I friend. No, 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 no. It's so funny to me how nobody ever thinks to just come to me and have a private one-on-one conversation. Did Carly really believe that I wanted to hear that my man was cheating from his side chick? All of y'all, what y'all saying? I don't give a I'm gonna go check him myself. Joy, you should have came to her. Did she do your eyebrows? You don't even know me. You don't have no time to give a Bitch, I don't give a fuck. This is why I'm mad at you. Let me tell you why. Because you, she do your eyebrows. Right here is a whole hot mess. And Carly must be feeling a little guilty because now she's trying to flip on Joy. I know Carly had good intentions, but sometimes a little direct one-on-one might do the trick. The crazy part is even with all these receipts, Sierra is still ready to stand by her man. Guess Carly ain't so crazy after all. Jack and I are finally back on track after some amazing makeup sex and I promise not to be messy. So today, I finally get to see the house he's so excited about. The only bad thing is, Jock's friend Kadia is the one showing us the house. Please act right, Carla. Nope. Thank you. Jock swears nothing's going on between them. Maybe he's telling the truth, but trust, I got my eye on this hoe. Hey, welcome back. What's up, baby? How are y'all? All right. So today we're gonna view a five bedroom, six bath, fully finished basement property. Uh, the property's actually over 7,500 square feet and I'm really excited for you to see it. I think it could be a great fit. All right, let's go. Okay. Wait a minute. Aren't you the driver that drove us to Alabama? Oh. And aren't you the stylist and the tax preparer? Yes, actually I am. I wear a number of professional hats. Maybe it wasn't a good idea to put these two women together. But I love the house, and it's Kadia's property, and I'm hoping Carla will be on the best behavior. All right. Like I said, we have a grand 12-foot door for your entryway, route iron staircase, with actually a catwalk across the second floor so that you can overlook from upstairs into this great two-story family room. So what do you think so far? Cool. What, what, what's that's the kitchen that way? Yeah, let's proceed this way and go look into the okay. gourmet chef kitchen, which is actually excellent for entertaining, especially if you cook. Call it the keeping area. This is the keeping room right here oh, to your oh. right. <laughs> can we have sex on this mm-hmm. countertop? Yeah, of course we can. Mm-hmm. It does what you feel like doing. This house seems all right, but I can barely focus because I'm so distracted by this chick. Something just don't feel right. And you know, Carly Red will get to the bottom of things fast. Any questions or concerns at this point? The sound system, did it have like the speakers throughout? I didn't see none of it that. It does. If you actually look back this way, it's okay. fully wired. If you don't mind, baby, you know, I'll be liking them. Mm-hmm. Just move yeah. Let me go check okay. the house. And, uh, you know, I'll just be back in a minute. I'll be right here. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay, babe. Do you have any questions or concerns about Yes, I have a question. Okay. Are you my man? Have we had sexual relations before? Is that what you're asking? Monica Lewinsky, check this out. I'm just asking you, are you my man or not? That's it. You know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, I know my man gets around, and so do you. The only person I get around with is your man. So you my man. I absolutely am, every night. Bitch, I'm a- I'm doing what a man do. I'm walking through the house. I'm looking at the sound system. I'm running downstairs. God damn, all hell done broke loose. What the f- just happened? What she just f- told me she was f- you. So you need to check your hose. You know what? 
Are you I told myself. Are you I made a promise to God that I wasn't gonna tell no lies about. I need to know if you a bitch or not. Yes, I'm Carly. I mean, I can't even believe it. I, 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 just, I just said that. Carly made me so mad. Just came out. And ain't no taking that back now. Today, I apologize for that. Can you just? Can we go? Your bitch, back your bitch Shut up. up. Chill out, man. Mother Jock. I knew something was going on between him and this chick, and everybody thinks I'm crazy. Mother check this out. No, you. you Bitch, you go be no, 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 no. I got to talk to you about. Really? So while y'all together, y'all go ahead. Carly. Toodles. I can't do. No, toodles to you, boo. I can't do this, yo. I hope my good tonight. Hey, yo, it's Safari. Listen, thanks for watching, and you are now tuned in with the brand new Love and Hip Hop YouTube. All right, subscribe. Click it. There's a button right there. Hit it right there. And subscribe. All right. Cheers.